Welcome to Airbnb Renting 101. In this lesson, we're gonna talk about the finances. Right before you open a business, you need to be able to pay for the services, pay for your overhead, pay for employees. So we'll, I have, I have an Excel that you guys can access. It's like a, a Google Sheets template where you can pull all of the finances and you can have like a breakdown. So I'm gonna go into my computer and we're gonna go straight into Google Sheets. You'll be able to find the Google Sheet doc template in instabizcoach.com. That's insta, I-N-S-T-A-B-I-Z-C-O-A-C-H.com. And we have a bunch of templates there to start any type of business, but the Airbnb rental business is gonna be one that we're focusing on, especially because the holiday season's coming up and people need places to stay. So we're gonna go into Google Sheets and the first thing you wanna do is break down how much what you're gonna to need to invest into the business, okay? So the first thing is you need to find an apartment that is less than $1,000 ideally a month. I say less than $1,000 because you're gonna have other utilities. So let's assume it's 1,250 $1, a month, right? This would be a one bed, one bath in the city, somewhere in the United States in a city ideally. You can find them, okay? Well, I'll show you how to find them in the next lesson. So let's say 1,250 for a one bed, one bath. Let's do the quick math. 1,250, we wanna multiply that times 12 months. So you get $15,000. So it's gonna be 15,000. Now you wanna divide that by 365 days that there are because you wanna ideally rent 365 days. That comes out to about $40 a day. That means that you pay $40 a day to rent that apartment. That means that you have to rent that apartment for a lot more. Ideally, I would say one and a half times one and a half. So if it's 40, I would say add a 40 and then 20, so 60. That means you would rent this apartment out for $100 and you would make 1.5 times the profit, which is great. Now, we also have to take into consideration what you need to upkeep. So let's add cleaning. You're gonna have to have cleaning every single time there's someone checks out. But in the United States, an average cost for cleaning is $50. That's about two to three hours of cleaning, a one bedroom apartment. So assume that's $50, okay? Now let's assume you get, that's let's say two times a week you have to pay that. So that's, 100, that's $400. So this is the things that you don't think about that you're like, oh, I haven't added that into the whole cost. So now let's start over. 1250 plus four hundred dollars for the cleaning services plus we have to also include the percent that airbnb is going to take and it depends on every country but in the united states airbnb service fees are about 14.2 percent and then you also have to include the taxes for your state or for your whatever city you're in a lot of cities have like a booking especially in the united states there's like an event booking or like a hotel booking fee. So make sure that you take into consideration every single fee and tax. The other thing is that Airbnb will do it for you. They will, once you set it all up, it'll pull the tax information and it'll tell you if the apartment is allowed to even be on Airbnb. So that's great. Okay, I would say you need to have at least $4,000, $5,000 to invest. Hopefully you get a furnished apartment or you furnish it very, very affordably, okay? Don't think you have to go and spend so much money on furniture because that's not where, I'm, you know, you're going to have to invest in. But this is something that we also have to take into consideration in a one bed, one bath. And I'll have a list of all the things. We'll talk about the amenities. We'll talk about the list of things that you need to purchase, right? Like a bed, couch, TV, internet, the basics. And this is why I recommend you living in the Airbnb for a little bit. You go set it up. And then in a week or two, boom, it's ready to book. That's what I do. And I love it because you get the feel of the room. You get to see what you need when you're there. You can have a friend stay and then they can give you feedback. So this is how you make sure that you have the quality standard that people are expecting. So let's move on to finding an Airbnb.